What is going on, peasants? JB back here today with the next episode of Rams Franchise. And today we are taking on the Indianapolis Colts, who are currently also sitting at a record of 0-3. So one of these two teams, probably the Colts, will end up with their first win of the season. Hopefully it's not. Hopefully we can start to get our season back on track at least a little bit. Listen, we're tanking, obviously, but we're getting absolutely destroyed. We scored two touchdowns on the entire season. Well, three now. So, you know, hopefully we can move the ball a little bit and, you know, maybe our offense will show up because our defense has been on the field. What feels like an entire the entire series. I feel like we've barely been on offense. So, to, uh, you know, hopefully incite some change to at least, you know, maybe make if nothing else, just give a different look. We are going to be giving Stetson Bennett the opportunity to start this game for the first time in his NFL career. He'll be starting over Matthew Stafford. But I'm going to be real. He has a pretty short lease because he's cool. It's a great story. He's a fun player. But is he, you know, he's at the end of the day, not better than Matthew Stafford. Although Matthew Stafford last game through three quarters had 20 something yards. Um, and Stetson came in in the fourth quarter alone and had over 100. So maybe we should just play him this whole game. But he is going to be on a short lease because if he starts turning the ball over like crazy or if it's not going well, then then what we'll do we'll probably just cry uh i've thought a little bit about it and so we did, since we did give up so many assets for devin white i'm willing to give him a two-year deal and bump the money up a little bit so we'll give him two years um i'm willing to go 16 million for two years for devin white as opposed to three years um 21 so it is a shorter term deal but you know he is a good player we did give up two assets for him at the end of the day even though we did get a couple of picks back technically three assets if you count the fifth round pick so yeah we'll go ahead and give him a two-year deal if he wants that and perfect we do go ahead and extend Devin White for another two years we'll take that and I think we're still gonna wait and see on these guys I'm leaning towards re-signing John Johnson at this point in time but I don't want him for three years I would be willing to give John Johnson another one-year deal so like if he'll take this for one year I'm down one year six mil and we get John Johnson back. So I'm cool with that. If he's a backup, he's a backup. But or if we end up trading him, it's fine. It's only a one year deal. So yeah, that that, that gives us uh, still some flexibility with his position. And for Amari Barno, I'm guessing he just wants a higher bonus. So we'll give him we'll give him that. I just want Amari Barno on my team. And Amari Barno is on our team for hopefully the entire series. But maybe he'll turn into something. Probably not. But he's on my team. That's all I care about. <laughs> go ahead and just get into weekly strategy nope we have a qb1 check-in is it going to be for matthew stafford or is it going to be for stetson bennett because stetson is technically qb1 now uh coach your team has struggled out the gate so far when that happens a lot of blame is placed to the quarterback who needs to step up matthew stafford to the team i'm going to say stafford because he's been terrible so terrible he's getting benched uh beat the colson at three plus passing touchdowns with stafford well see the problem is he's not starting so that's going to be hard to do <laughs> let's get into weekly strategy and hopefully try to turn the season th just darn thing around let's get stetson out here and practice and give him a uh give him a go we'll do target passing beautiful Uh, way too early, but we should still get gold. Yeah, we get gold. Nice. Right, we're going to go two passing touchdowns, win the turnover battle. We'll go 250 yards and we'll go 24 points or less because I, I don't know. For, it's just the same thing every week. Please, no injuries. We cannot afford it. Defense is healthy. Offense, please be healthy too. I beg you. I think I said the exact same thing last week, but it worked because everyone is healthy. Upgrades. Who do we got? Show me something. Got a few. Dewan Smoot. We'll let this. We'll, uh, we'll do. We'll just do speed rusher for Dewan. Is it Dewan or Dwayne? I think it's Dewan. 
I'm not really sure. Maybe it's Dwayne Smoot. Either way. Bobby Brown with the upgrade. What are you good at? His block shutting's okay. His power moves is a 69. Nice. Uh, we'll just do, we'll do run stopper. Get plus one block shed, hit power, and tackle plus two play rack. He's an upgrade. Nick Hampton with the upgrade. He's been unbelievable thus far for us. He currently has 86 speed, 92 excel, decent tackling. His block shedding is bad. His finesse moves is also bad. We'll just go into speed rusher then. Get him up to a 68 overall. Almost nice. Plus one awareness and zone coverage. Plus two finesse moves is fantastic. Getting that up to a 68. Again, almost nice. And then we have an upgrade for the mailman, Stetson Bennett. He has 84 throw power, horrible accuracy just across the board. I guess we'll just go ahead and do field general. Try to get some of the accuracies increased and we get plus one awareness, throw accuracy deep, mid and short. So we do get all the accuracies, beautiful. Good upgrade for him going into this game. His first career start, which will be in Lucas Oil Stadium against the Indianapolis Colts. Let's do it. Lucas Oil, one of the prettiest stadiums in the league and one of only two I've been in the same city as. You thought I was going to say one of two I've been to. No, one of two I've been in the same city as. The other one, also in the AFC South, uh, Nashville, Tennessee. Actually, that's not true. I've been to Dallas like 12 times, but who cares? That doesn't count. Can we contain rookie phenom Anthony Richardson? Quite literally the most athletic quarterback of all time at the Combine. Lamar Jackson might have given him a run for his money had he, you know, ran the 40. But as it stands, he didn't. So therefore, Anthony Richardson gets to hold that title. He's also a lot bigger than uh, Lamar. Not that Lamar's a small human being, obviously, but Anthony Richardson, what, 6'4", 250? Let's do it. And he's going to be taking the field, looking to lead the Colts to the first win of the season. First win of his career. He's been okay. 48 for 80, 600 yards, three, six touchdowns to three interceptions. That's, you know, not awful for someone who's not, you know, uh, not expected to be a great passer out the gate. He's been kind of okay. Can we shut down Jonathan Taylor, who, of course, is active in playing? <laughs> Donald with his best play of the season. More of that, please. They just ran right at Aaron Donald. That's perfect. That's beautiful. That's exactly what we want to see. And let's make this team really uncomfortable. Let's blitz the rookie. Second and long. Should be a run. Or should be a pass, rather. Let's try to get after him. Intercepted by Kelvin Joseph. What a start to the game. We looking like the Super Bowl champs again. We're going all the way. Kelvin Joseph with the INT. Let's go, dude. What a start to the game. Sack on the first play, interception on the second. Eh, not a sack, it's tackle for loss. Big tackle for loss on the first play, interception on the second. Huge start to the game. And now, Stetson Bennett making his first start of his career after coming in the fourth quarter last game and throwing for... More than four times the yards Matthew Stafford did. Ignore the fact that he had two interceptions. One of those was just a fuck it heave at the end. All right, let's do it. Show us something Stetson. Normally like to come out the gate running the ball, but since we have a new starting quarterback, let's go ahead and give him a throw to start the game. And by a throw, I mean a throw away because nothing got open because, well, our receivers don't really do that whole getting open thing very well. They're, they're not very good at that. Cooper Cup does occasionally. He's the only one. All right. Stetson rolling out. He's going to have to get past the force. Buckner, he has open field. Get that. He's in a foot race with Quiddy Pay. Gets down to the three yard line. Stetson Bennett. Play breaks down, of course, no one gets open as expected, but that's the difference between him and Matthew Stafford. When no one gets open, at least Stetson is kind of a threat to run the ball. Kind of. He's, like, got 80-something speed, which isn't bad, but it's not exactly high. Go ahead and hand off to Cam Akers, and he will fight for the end zone. No, gets down to the one on his first touch of the game. 
Do we want to try to get Stetson his first passing touchdown, or do we just want to get the guaranteed score? I think we get the guaranteed score because our offense is shit. Um, actually, hold on. Cooper Cup is literally uncovered. Um, yeah, uh, okay. What the f <laughs> All right. Maybe I should have just gone with the slant, but, uh, wow. What an un- <laughs> Sure. Um, yeah, literally no one on Cooper Cup. This should have been the freest touchdown of all time. And this guy just makes one of the most insane plays you will ever see. Who is that? Is that Julius Brents? No, that is Julian Blackman. Right. Is that like... What? What? <laughs> sure, dude. One of the most insane verticals you'll ever see. I, th he's just better. Julian Black was the greatest safety in the league, greatest defensive back in the league, best player in the league. I don't know what to say about that. Um, Puka Nakua also kind of uncovered, but we're just going to keep the ball on the ground because after that last play, I don't trust anyone. I do trust Cam Akers, though, and he gets into the end zone. Touch down, Cam Akers. Let's go. I. Wow. <laughs> That's the greatest play of all time, dude. Oh, my Lord. All right, defense back out there. Can we continue to see some good play from Aaron Donald? I hope so. Handoff is no going to be faked. Play action. Incomplete. That receiver was wide open. Kelvin, you didn't really make a play that time, but you're welcome to celebrate like you did. We'll once again bring Heat on the second down. It worked so well last drive. This time the pass complete to Michael Pittman. AR with his first completion of the game. Brings up third and six. We have Devin White on a spy, running a contain. I like that. Pass intended for, I want to say that was Josh Downs, broken up by a killer Witherspoon. And we will be uh, receiving a punt here. All right. Not ex <laughs> it's not that I didn't expect on the punt. It's just that I didn't expect my team to actually show up. Cam Makers has been phenomenal, averaging nearly five yards a carry to this point in the year. And you know what? Let's keep feeding him. Why stop now? He's been so unbelievable. It's not even that good. Like, it's just, it, 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 you know, compared to the rest of our team, he's been just the best player. Kyle Fuller. The injured Colt. Looks like he's limping off. Not bad. We'll take it. It's not the real human being, so I don't care. He's pixels. Injure them all. Keep it on the ground. The cam and... All right. Yeah, that's... Mm -hmm. Completely swallowed up by the Colts D-line, which actually isn't bad, so... At least not their interior. DeForest Buckner's a beast. Grover Stewart's very good. Decent linebackers as well. Stetson, once again, no one open. He's going to take off. And yeah, Cam didn't really pick up that block. Shaq Leonard just kind of forces Stets out there. Do we go for it on fourth and six? Let's, come, let, let's act like, let's come out like we're going to go for it. I don't mind wasting a timeout. Do I like to look? Screw it. Let's go for it. I mean, they give it to us again. <laughs> so that's little just take the first down. Nothing's getting open, but like I said, at least he can get out of the pocket and run. When nothing, and it would inevitably nothing gets open ever. He can at least do that for us. Gets us a new set of downs to uh, get completely obliterated by DeForest Buckner. Got it. All right, let's try to actually throw the ball this time. Maybe can we do that. Can someone get open, please? Uh, no. The answer was no. Of course, Buckner this time with the sack. Third and 23 now. So it looks like we uh, did all of that for nothing. Bucket Cooper Cup down there somewhere. Nearly intercepted. Broken up by Blackman again. And Stetson will start off 0 for 3 because we are not allowed to pass the ball.
They're going for the punt. Pretty good one. Gonna be inside the 20. Can we keep him inside the 20? Yes, we can. No, we can't. Never mind. Second and five. Titans two dudes trying to cover three. Someone was going to get open. Brings up third in inches. Uh, can we stuff the box here? Let's go like 4-4. Four, four. Like that. Going to be a pass incomplete just out of the reach of Josh Downs. Another fourth down for the Colts. Will they punt? Yes, they will on fourth and inches with Anthony Richardson, Jonathan Taylor, and a decent offensive line. Fine by me. A completion? Yeah, that's just too out well. First completion of the game. Let's go. Stetson finally moving the ball. At least a little bit. Through the air, anyway. Uh, they have like seven in the box. Someone should be open. It might be Cam Akers on the check down. And it is going to be Cam Akers on the check down. Nice. They'll pick up the first. Keep the chains moving. Back-to-back -back completions for Stetson Bennett. We're starting to get our offense going a little bit. Let's get the ball back on the ground to Cam Akers. He's been stuffed his last few times. Let's run away from DeForest Buckner. That might help. Uh, no, it doesn't. Jesus Christ. He just completely bitches our left guard. Logan Bruce, who, or whoever the hell's starting. I don't even know who's starting at this point. But whoever he is, they are now DeForest Buckner's bitch. Cups open enough. We'll try to fit it in there. Nope. Julian Blackman is the greatest cover safety of all time. Cannot throw on this guy. I'm going to try a tight end screen on third and 12. Fuck it. Might actually work. Let's try it. It did not work. <laughs> I don't know what the timing of that play is. I've never ran it. Uh, that wasn't it, though. Another decent punt inside the 20. And off to Jonathan Taylor. Nice tackle by John Johnson. Three carries for six yards for JT. One of the ugliest quarters of football in NFL history, it must be said. The Colts have 15 yards of offense. That's, you know, almost as much as we have. <laughs> All day to throw. And it's going to be complete. And the breaks the tackle, Josh Downs. Huge run after catch. That's the third time... Richardson's gone to Josh Downs on third down. This time it finally gets complete on Devin White, who just gets thrown off by a tiny receiver. I don't want to say tiny. Josh Downs is, I want to say, like 5'9", 5'10". Yeah, he's 5'10", 175. Just threw off our 240-pound uh, linebacker who we just paid $16 million. Cool. Screen to Pittman. Kobe Durant saves the first. Colts starting to move the ball a little bit. Don't like that. Let's maybe stop them moving the ball, perhaps. Hand off to Taylor. Aaron Donald. There we go. He's starting to show up. He's starting to show up. That's what we want to see. Injured Colt this time is Michael Pittman. It's unfortunate. But once again, it's not the real Michael Pittman, so I don't care. <laughs> oh, I gotta change Aaron Donald's X Factor. If he has the only has a one down active thing, yeah, we're we're changing that. I don't care. That's terrible. Uh, is it is it blitz? Is that what it's called? Josh Downs, another uh first down on third. Prefer third down conversion, rather. That's the one I'm that's the term I'm looking for. 
Yeah, what's the point of an X Factor ability that only lasts one play? Speaking of one play, what a play by Jordan Fuller to break that pass. Knock that one down. Good job. We haven't got to him yet, but I really like the uh what we've been able to do. Blitzing Anthony Richards is picked off by Kobe Durant! Speak of the speak of, you know, speak it into existence. The Blitz has been making AR very uncomfortable, and it just goes to show you. There's another interception. That's the second time we blitzed him on second down and he's throwing a pick. Kobe Durant this time, his second of the year. He's been very good for us. We'll take over with not great field positioning, but the ball nonetheless. And DeForest Buckner is just simply not human. Third and 12. Up, actually up and nope. Not at all. <laughs> Ball came out late and it's intercepted by Kyle Fuller. He's open for maybe like a half a second. Give the ball right back to the Colts off the interception. Anthony Rich is in all day to throw. He's just going to throw it out of bounds. Why is Quentin Lake always in on these blitzes? I don't love that. I just... I hit Richardson so late. That's on me. I saw an opportunity to actually hit the quarterback and I just took it. Yeah, that, that that's my fault. <laughs> Second and nine, you know what that means. We're blitzing. In zone. Nearly intercepted by Akilah Witherspoon. Brings up third and nine. Let's blitz again. Anthony Richardson has shown so far he doesn't know what to do against the Blitz, so let's keep doing it. Especially on obvious passing downs. Someone get to him! He has all day! Brought down by, I think that's Marquise Copeland on the sack, number 98. Big fella up the middle. Huge sack. It was Dewan Smoot, or Dwayne Smoot, my bad. Either way, we will gladly take it. Huge play there. Had all day to throw as per usual, but we do finally manage to get someone through. And bring down AR. Not bad at all. Possibly forced to take the field goal. Kick is up, and it is through. Nice. Alright, I'm making a mistake, and we're trying to run the ball again. Can't wait to see how DeForest Buckner blows this play up. And he did, it's just he didn't get to Cam Akers immediately, but Cam Akers also really couldn't do anything. Let's pick up a couple, though. Stetson Benning rolling out to the left this time, first down. The only way we could move the ball, rolling out with Stetson Bennett. Nakua, overthrown. Is that, tell me that isn't Isaiah Simmons. It is Isaiah Simmons, Jesus Christ. Second and 10. Nakua open and Stetson just misses. Nakua was wide open. There is no excuse for missing that pass. There we go, Nakua first down. Actually completion. Right, let's try to get Cam a carry here, see if he can get some yards and not get killed by DeForest Buckner. He got killed by DeForest Buckner, but he got a yard that time. Because DeForest was uh, kind enough to push him forward. That's the only reason he got a yard. I just don't know what to do when we can't run the ball. That's been our only effective way of moving the ball this season is running. And it's impossible to run on Buckner. But it's not impossible to run with Setson Bennett on rollouts. That's literally all we can do. Points here are paramount. Go by 
at least a touchdown if we get a field goal. Obviously, we would like to have a touchdown of our own, go up by two possessions, but another couple plays will at least be in field goal range, which we'll take at the very least. Up open. Get there, get there, get there. <laughs> Just slightly overthrown. No. Oh my god, that's like the one play where Cup sometimes gets open untouched. And we just can never make the throw. We either hit it or just overthrow him, or he gets picked. That's intercepted. Yep. Just trying to get the ball to Cooper Cup. That was my first mistake. Julius Brent's the rookie with his first interception. Maybe of his career, probably not. I don't know. But we're very good at giving rookie corners their first picks. That pass completes. Josh Downs from the slot. Pittman uncovered another first down and the Colts are now in very good position to get a touchdown on the board to get some points on the board for sure. Definitely going to get some points on the board. Hopefully we can hold them to three. That'd be ideal. Richardson is going to throw it out of the back of the end zone. I want a blitzer. I want to get in on this run. Devin White just threw Jonathan Taylor to the ground, but thankfully that passing complete brings up fourth and goal. Do they take the points or do they go for the end zone? I would go for the end zone here personally, but it looks like they're just going to be content and take the field goal. I believe they get the ball to start the second half. Actually, no, we had an interception on the first drive, so we get the ball to start the second half. We'll take a one point lead going into the locker room, though. <laughs> Whatever DeForest Buckner has, I'm giving that to Aaron Donald. But the question is, do we put Matthew Stafford in the game or do we ride it out with Stetson Bennett because he can run? I'm not sure. I'm leaning towards keeping Stetson in. But at the same time, Stafford can actually complete some of these passes, so we might be able to move the ball through the air. I mean, either way, we're not moving the ball on the ground except for the rollouts. That's literally the only thing. That's literally the only way we're moving the ball. So, I don't know. We'll keep Stetson in for at least his first drive. If we still can't get anyone open or he still misses passes when we do try to throw, I think we might have no choice but to put Matthew Stafford back in. We'll see, though. Because we need to start completing some fucking passes. There's one. Two to Atwell. Picks up nine. Good game to start the second half. Let's run to the outside. That way, DeForest Buckner cannot hurt us. We'll even run away from him. He's in blocking. Good run from Cam Makers. By far his best of the day. Akers this time as a receiver out of the backfield. Picks up the first down. Akers again. That's going to be overthrown. He got open. Pressure got in that time, though. Third and 10 after an incompletion. Needs someone to make a play here. Obviously, we're looking at Cup, but... Nothing's open. We'll try that. I mean, there's two guys there. Knock loose. Fourth down. The punt here. We completed that. We might have considered going for it, but incomplete. We don't really have a choice. Michael Turk has had a very, very busy day. That's a good punt. That's a bad money. That's money out at the four. Beautiful punt for Michael Sarek. He's had a very busy start to the year, let alone today. He might have the most punts in the league at this point.
Hand off to Jonathan Taylor up the middle. He gets a few. Really don't want to ruin this great field positioning, but I'm sure we will. Aaron Donald! There we go. Jonathan Taylor does fall four for a yard, though. Third and four. Keep them in front of the line. Nope. That's first down. Huge gain nonetheless, too. That's just wide open. Who is that? Smith. They have Irv Smith. <laughs> what is happening with tight ends? Yeah, they have. That's Irv Smith. So let me get this straight. We've played Irv Smith and Noah Fans, former teams, but none of them are on the right team. But they're all on teams we played. Like, what is happening? <laughs> Tight ends are just going all over the place. I, I don't know what's going on. And off inside the Taylor. He breaks the tackle. Nearly gets the first down through like 15 Rams. Aaron Donald going to get credit for that one. Second and one. Another handoff to JT. Donald stopped him short of the line. Good job. Decent play. Third and one now. We need this stop. Really need this stop. I'm going to trust our corners here. Let's let's get in on them. Let's make them, make them sweat. And nope. <laughs> Byron Young injured on the play. Cool. Trusted our corners, tried to, uh, shut that play down, did not work. Taylor again, gets great blocks, and he will pick up an easy first down yet again. Jonathan Taylor starting to look like, well, Jonathan Taylor. That's complete to guess who, Jonathan Taylor. Young will be back soon. We'll put Barno in. Second and two now. Probably going to be a handoff to Jonathan Taylor as we can't stop it. Oh, no. Pass. Complete to Irv Smith. Another first down. Taylor uncovered. Somehow. Touchdown. Okay, I, I don't know how no one's defending the flat there. Like, just seriously, how is no one covering that? It's, what are you doing? Fuller, what are you... That is, you there is no one over... Why, where are you going? This game is so bad. They're going to go for two... And probably get it easily. Arno saved the two-point conversion. Nice. Great play by Mario Barno. Open field tackle on Jonathan Taylor. Not an easy task. Try running the ball. There we go. Cam Maker's decent run. Jack Leonard's injured. Okay. Trying to catch him sleeping with play action on second down did not work. They're asking us to run the ball at the middle, but of course DeForest Buckner's there, so I'm not going to. Up on the curl. Hold on to it. Nice. Hey, whoa, throw the flag. What the hell?
This could either be great or awful. Let's find out. It was awful. Oh, no. That may, yep. Mm. Yep, that was terrible. A way team has trouble catching. Trust me, we don't need help with that. We don't need, it's not that we have trouble catching. It's that we have trouble getting open. Kyle Van Noy with the sack. Stetson hit as he throws, and it's intercepted by Damian Wilson. All right, I think that's enough from Stetson. This game is still within reach. We got to put Stafford back in. Need to keep him out of the end zone here, though. Really need to keep him out of the end zone. Pass complete to Josh Downs. Not a good start. Not a good start for keeping him out of the end zone. I think that was technically Devin White's zone, but that was way over, that would have been way over his head, so I don't think that's really my fault. Byron Young back on the field after his injury. Once again, just no one covering the flat. Why does no one ever cover the fucking flat? I couldn't tell you. Cover three hard flat. There you go. Cover the fucking flat. Is that good for the is that a good play call for this situation? No, but I'm calling it because I'm sick of it being open. Anthony Richardson has eight times or six times our passing yards. We have 30 fucking four yards passing. I don't think that's true, but I think we have more than that. But it that doesn't surprise me that it's that low. Nothing open. Throw away. Alright, they're coming out to run. Send everyone untouched. Alright, well. I never trust the goal on defense to stop it anyway, so I came out in the zone. It didn't they didn't they didn't, didn't matter. We wouldn't have stopped them in goal line either, so fuck it. All right, Stafford, get us back in this game. Need you to make some throws, dude. Need you to do something good. Screen is shaking. You don't like that. Jillian Blackman is the greatest player of all time. I don't know what to tell you. That wasn't exactly open, but he also just dove from fucking like Seattle to make that play. Nakua sits down in the middle of the field. Complete. Nice. That's a good start. That will open on the slant. Drops it. Oh my god, dude. It said knocks out or knocked out, but you have to hang on to that, man. Can't drop there, bro. Uh, we're inside our own 30. We have to punt. I didn't feel like doing it, so I did. Oh. Hand off to JT. Stop just before the first down marker. Okay. Brings up third down and one. Really, 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 really need to stop here. Someone make a play. No, Jonathan Taylor is off to the races for like 15 fucking yards. Oh my God. JT again. Another 20 yards, just we can't do anything. Nothing we do is good. Nothing we do works. Nothing we do is, I don't know, our team, we just fucking suck. And Naheem Hines comes in and just, or Zach Moss rather. Excuse me. 
just comes in and gets the easiest touchdown of his career. So he hasn't played all game, just gonna take a carry for 15 yards without even trying. This team fucking sucks. <laughs> I just juke my THD. Nakua knocked out. Hold on to the fucking ball. It's like, even when we do, like, get open or do complete a pass now, it's just getting knocked out. Fourth and ten, we have to go for it, and the game agrees. All right, cool. Someone get open. Cooper Cup, please get open. Are you the best receiver in the league? One of them? Try getting open. One fucking time. Nope, intercepted. Jul Julian fucking Blackman. Greatest safety in NFL history. Pick six. Cool. Start running the ball. DeForest Buckner sheds instantly, and he just destroys our running back behind the line every fucking time. We had like two good runs. Even when we do, even our receivers do get open, they get the ball fucking knocked out of their hands because they can't hold on to shit. Even when our receivers get open, our quarterbacks can't fucking throw the ball accurately. This is ridiculous. What are we supposed to do when literally nothing works? Only throwing to Cooper Cup and he gets intercepted. I, I don't I don't know what you want from me. Another touchdown. Because I apparently got stuck on whoever was covering Isaiah McKenzie, even though I don't use her defensive backs. I don't know, let's try to get Cam Akers a touch on the screen. Maybe that'll work. It did. throw that away and uh yeah you can't make this up you can't make this up guys <laughs> uh, it was a throw away Jonathan Taylor just ending a man's career. Hey, we're going to force the field goal. Good job, guys. Just kidding. They're going for it on fourth and three. Up 33 points with three minutes left. Sure. All right. This, this is, uh, we'll remember this one. Anthony Richardson on the keeper. End his career. Oh, you want us to run the ball? Because we're inside the five? All right, let's see how this goes. Best blocking we've had all game on Buckner. I wonder which linebacker is going to pick off this slant. No one, none of them are open. Uh, this time it was a fumble. And a safety. <laughs> this game is going to mercifully end again. I, I've been saying that every game the last three videos. I, we're, it's time for a slider change. We need to up our quarterback accuracy. We need to up 
our wide receiver catching i don't know i'm not gonna lower the cpu at all because it doesn't feel like the cpu is really doing anything maybe lower the coverage slightly but our receivers are fucking terrible our quarterbacks are worse our blocking's fine it's just the skill positions man our defense is fine too like i don't have a problem with what our defense is doing our defense is bad we should be getting carved up uh maybe not so much by anthony richardson but yeah this is ridiculous I hate this. I knew we were going to be bad, and I knew this wasn't going to be fun, but this is, this is, this is fucking pathetic. Oh, don't worry, it gets better. We just have to play the fucking Eagles next game. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. We're 0-4. We're coming for that number one pick. It's all part of the plan. I'm throwing for content. We do have a breakout DB, though, which... I am very excited about. I think we know who it is. Hopefully, it's Kobe Durant. Could be anyone. Probably Kobe Durant. Hopefully, Kobe Durant. But you never know. But yeah, well, I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here. I'm going to uh, cry and piss and scream and I don't know a lot of other things. None of them will be healthy. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Like, subscribe to all the nonsense. Peace.